Hi, this is Thunder Yee from BorderWork.com and welcome to our full review of Power DVD 12. I'm reviewing Power DVD 12 Ultra, which retails for about $49.99. Now, what's interesting to note about the new Power DVD is that it comes with a full suite of features that not only extends from uh, Blu-ray to DVD playback, but also DLNE services, uh, video transcription, as as well as a music store and some online features. So we'll go through that. I'm sure you guys have seen our um, hands-on demo at CES 2012, but let's take a look at what we have here. So uh, the layout is different. What you do have here, you have the ability, of course, on the first hand, you have your uh, controls or your uh, categories here on the left-hand side. So you have your media, which is one category, which shows you your Blu-ray DVDs, videos, photos, and music, which you can scan through. You have my computer, which actually shows you all the drives in your computer, so all the way from your USB drives, which is the Kingston, your Blu-ray drive, as well as um, and I have an iTwin here connected. So it's all it shows all the drives in the computer. Now devices, it shows connected devices. So I have um, Power, D Power DVD Remote, which is a remote feature on Android and iOS. You can control your Power DVD controls. I have my Kingston also, and I also have my Samsung. Um, uh, Galaxy Notes connected here, which I can go into and I can uh, do device controls for. Um, <clears throat> and you also have videos, music, you can actually go into each one. So I can go here and I can look at the videos in there, I can look at the photos, I can look at the music. So I can check out the photos in there, these are the photos I've taken. And then you do have the store, which is a music store, you do have your DLNA services, so Power DVD Mobile. Um, uh, my my Ditto, which is a home server, uh, my PC, and then we have online uh, media. We we can connect to Facebook, YouTube, Flickr, and we can also create playlists. So let's get back to media library here, and go um, into the media library. So um, it it does have media library where you can actually scan um, and see uh, new movie contents. Uh, you can click on those and actually that will just give you a synopsis and, uh, and also a trailer of, of new content in there. You can search for movies and things like that. That's Blu-ray DVD. Now if I had a Blu-ray or DVD in there, it would actually bring up the Blu-ray and DVD control. So it's very simple, very easy. Uh, if we jump into videos, um, you see the videos here. Um, we do have all of the listed videos on the computer so you can see just a ton of videos left and right on this PC. And it shows you in you know different order um, as they are collected. You do have um, controls, so you can actually change the um, the layout of the videos, if you will. As you can see, I can expand it, I can reduce it, and uh, you can see all the, I can pick and select any video I want. Um, so you can see it's just expanded, just kind of slow down there for a second. I'm just going to increase it a little bit. Now. Um, <coughs> You do have uh, 3D functionality. I don't have a 3D monitor, so it's pretty much pointless for me to show you that. But you can optimize your 3D uh, content, if you will. Sorry about that. So you can optimize your 3D, and you can show. Um, you can see here is the general settings. You can actually increase the 3D depth depending on, um, you know, what works best for you. You can change the, you know, sw swap from left eye to right eye. You can also look at source format, auto detect if it's over under side by side and display device you can auto detect that and uh, that helps you to customize your 3d viewing experience to to meet whichever um, you know format you want and this is this applies both to uh, video as well as photos so you can actually do that for photos too uh, before we'll get into video playback in a second but we'll just take a look at photos also photos is the same thing you can see different photos and you can do the 3D content overlap as well. This also has access to music and you can see different music albums on the system to have Adele there, Bad Boy and so on and so forth. Now you can easily play those off your system so I can click on Timbaland and I can I can play a Timbaland song uh, directly. And I have and we're back playback controls here at the bottom so it's pretty much easy so let's go to videos and let's do some video playback so um, I have here uh, let's go into you know what 
Let's go to the Lotus Record of War, which is an old anime. You can see all the different animes from Lotus I have here, and I can jump into it. And what uh, Power DV claims is that they do have a smart scan feature. So as I'm watching this, I can easily scan through and jump. And you can see playback is immediate. So you can actually jump through with smart scan, and you don't. It doesn't actually have to buffer or load. And but you can see I can just jump through my content. So if I'm playing, I can just run, through, jump. It continues and so forth. So. This works out very well. I'm going to turn off 3D there. It just trying to simulate 3D for me uh, with the red and blue glasses. So yeah, even though I don't have a 3D glass uh, set, but it's still that function will work there. So you see, um, you see that, and I can easily head back um, into my content. And playback features are very easy and very simple to use. So let's uh, check out some of the DLNA stuff here. So we do have. Um, uh, home media and we can go to the my ditto here you can see already it's connected so if you have anything on the network as long as it's on the network it will connect and it's very easy to find you know the content you're looking for and say if we go into um, actually let's head back it's going to uh, TV shows and uh, you can see just different TV shows now this supports a variety of formats so it's something uh, cool to note see and it, it it pretty much almost anything will play. So if there's buffering, I can load through. See already instantaneously, it's playing. So even though you know I pass my buffering point, you know it will try and catch up and play. And um, so it it does a very good job uh, with that um, overall. Now um, so you're probably thinking, let's check out some of that Power DVD remote feature. So uh, for that. Uh, you guys can check out the screen below on the side. So we do have our Power DVD remote already installed. It's a free app uh, on Android and iOS, and what that does is it allows it creates a touchpad for you. So you on screen, you can see that's moving, and I can you know go in and I can go back and say click that, and that's pretty much your your click button there. You double click. Previously, on being human. Oh! So you know there's a better way to do this. Do what? Be a better monster. What about the apartment? Yeah, that's perfect. We'll invite the neighbors over and eat them. I'm Sally. Hi. She's a ghost. So, um, you know, it's a little finicky, but um, it does work. The cool thing about it, it does have playback controls. So even though you do have the mouse and cursor there, you can actually touch and have playback controls. It's just an easier way to just pick content and play content and move from one content to another. So I can hit play. And I previously on being human. Can skip back to previous content if I want to. I can pause, and um, so that allows me to, um, you know, use the functionality very well. So it's something that's pretty cool uh, on here. Another thing, we'll, so let's take a look at also the Power DVD mobile. So the mobile app is also a free app on Android and iOS. I can head over that to that. And what that does, I'll just head home here so you guys can see the, the landing page. So this is the landing page of Power DVD Mobile. You have access to music, video, photos, and camera on your device and any device that's connected through Power DVD. So if I go to videos here, and now it shows me a list of videos on my system. These are videos I currently have here. Now if you look here and you see I have the Samsung, that's the Galaxy Note, if I go to videos, I have access to the same videos here already and I can you know I can play that directly off here so I can play this oh sorry actually this is a short video this is a short clip that didn't work I can play this it does take some time to the uh, not, not that long but it does take some buffering time so you can see I have content there. Now that that's that's the content that will play, and I can go to the content here myself. So it's this is Sunday on from BorderWalk.com. I'm recording at 1080p with and the Galaxy Note. Yeah. Now you can device. see up. Now I'm streaming uh, that. You know, it's on the big almost screen. evening. It's getting, getting dark. Oh um, it's going to pan around. So you guys can see traffic. 
you know, give you a different traffic view. It's pretty good. Um, we can go back. We can see that here it says, you know, content, local media, or home media. What that does, this gives you the ability to tap in other devices overall. So, um, bank and PC, I could actually stream content from my PC, but I don't have anything connected there. Uh, currently, it's not showing my uh, my Ditto, but that again, that is a little finicky. But theoretically, so if, say, uh, I had an iPad, and the iPad also had Power DVD Mobile, it will show up right here on home media, and I'll be able to connect to it and play video content from that device. So that's pretty cool that you have that home connectivity altogether. The other cool thing about it is once you have this connected via USB to your um, to your uh, computer, and you know you want to transfer uh, a video file over, um, it, you don't have to uh, convert the codecs or anything. It will transcode it for you. So it will. It recognizes the device once you transfer it, it will transfer it to the best media format for it. So it does a lot of work for you, and I think that's a very, very cool feature overall on, on Power DVD. So, so let's take a look at a connected online media. So we do have Facebook, YouTube, and Flickr. Uh, with the connected online media, it allows you, especially with Facebook, you sign into your Facebook page. You can see it allows you to look at photos. So I can already look at all the different photos on my page. This is my Facebook. This is a Facebook account, not a Facebook page. But you can jump in there. You can actually uh, look at all the photos. You can uh, select your photos, if you will, and you can download. You actually can select all. So I can just control select all, and I can download all of them uh, straight onto my system. You can do this for your photos and you can actually do this for friends on your system. So photos of all the friends uh, of border work and I can look and say oh you know what I do like that photo. I can download photos individually or I can do batch photo downloads. So that's something pretty cool uh, to have if you have a lot of friends and they take pictures you go out and you want to take uh, you want to download the pictures that you know other people had instead of you download each one individually say there were 100 photos you can just download all at once and that's pretty cool you also have YouTube and allows you to sign into a YouTube account and has the full YouTube feature set so you can look at featured videos look at, you can look at my videos so these are all border work videos on here and I can view them and watch them and um, so on and so forth. It just keep populating as as it goes along. So that's pretty nice to have. And uh, you have Flickr. I haven't signed into a Flickr account, but you, it works pretty much the same way. So that's pretty much um, Power DVD 12. I do like it. Uh, I do like uh, the full functionality set. I think it's it's gone a long way to providing a lot more um, usability. The fact that Power DVD Mobile goes with it and you can use it as a remote control is pretty cool. So that you can actually sit back, relax, and watch content on your uh, your your TV or your. Uh, your computer and just use remote control features. So that's something very nice. Uh, if you guys have so, if you guys have any questions or any comments about Power DVD 12, uh, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with uh, two O's and the links down below. So this is Thundee saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment.